Greetings everyone, what is up with me again, Tam Prime 1 with another video review. If you're on this video review, we're going to be taking a look at Transformer Cybertron Deluxe Class Sideways. But now before we get down to the thing, I have a couple of shout outs. One is to hang on for a second. I'm going to pull up the YouTube channel right here, right now. Um, in the comments, it's me, Misty. It's me, it's me, Misty4591. I'm glad I can't talk. <laughs> Got a little tongue tie right there just a tad bit a little bit but yeah happy birthday I hope I hope I hope that you've had an amazing birthday it's me Misty 4591 I hope that you've had an amazing birthday and also a shout out to a good old friend of mine spy gear 69 I hope that you're doing well along with anything else along with everything else and I know you're not into transformers but I thought I might do a little shout out to you as well so now Let's go ahead and take a quick look at Sideways, and I hope that the both of you enjoy this uh, one little video review about him. Now, taking a quick look at Sideways, as we all know, he's a he's a deluxe class. I'm <laughs> I've been tongue tied still for a couple. I thought it was my speech going too fast, or something, or my tongue's just constantly tied, been tied for quite some time, or for a while now. <laughs> But yeah, taking a look at Sideways, a very nicely done Deluxe Class figure. Really amazing details on him. Love what they did with Sideways in the TV series as well. After all, we all know that with Sideways, he's like neither Autobot nor Decepticon. He's pretty much on his own side along with Soundwave because like he and Soundwave are from Planet X. And that planet just like decided to attack Gigantion for only because like I think they wanted their energy reserves or something. I, I can't blame the whole reason why, but yeah, Sideways and Soundwave were the only descendants. Well, they, they were the only, like, one of the few survivors, probably. I can't fully remember off the top of my head, but yeah, I do know that, like, both Sideways and Soundwave were, like, the main survivors, and they wanted to bring back Gigantion, despite the fact that it's Gigantion's fault. Well, not Gigantion, they wanted to bring back Planet X, despite the fact that it was Planet X's own fault for what had happened. So, yeah. Very nice figure right here, very nice, and I'll be honest with you, before I did this video review, um, well, I'm always honest, I thought that Sideways was a, um, I thought he was like a Scout class figure, because he seemed small enough for one, but quite frankly, a Scout, a Scout class figure is much big, as well, much bigger, much smaller, like much, much smaller. Because quite frankly, um, he's not small. He's not that small right there. He's definitely much larger. He's a, as we all know, he's a little. He's a deluxe class, and they definitely did a really great job with this overall detailing on him right here. You can see the little fist right down there, the and the legs on the sides right there. Not to mention his little uh, his little shield weapon right here. Not to mention, um, let's see, his also his wings. We all know become his weapons as well. Wow, how'd that become? Foggy, that is so. My apologies to all of you out there. My cell phone has just decided to become foggy for some odd reason. Is there something wrong, wrong with the camera lens or something? I'm not for sure, but yeah, my apologies if about the fog right there. It was crystal clear not too long ago, and now it's just straight up foggy. But yeah, taking a look at Sideways, they definitely did a really great job with him. Love how they made him. Love this right here. Especially like you can see right here, right here with the software plank, where the software plank key slot is. Now I want to say this right now. I want to go ahead and do the up the software plank key gimmick. This is the software plank key right here. It's a transparent Decepticon software plank key. I think it's just to say that he's not on the Decepticon side, and but then again, he's also not on the Autobot side. And plus, I think they what they should have done was like they should have just did a half a Autobot symbol right here and half a Decepticon symbol right on this side right here. So yeah. Now, I'll say this, with this thing right here with the shield, it's a bit confusing, but I think I'm going to figure it out on out-ish in one day. Push on down, and you have the Decepticon symbol right there, and just go like... Whoops. Whoopsies. <clears throat> like, I managed to get it to work properly-ish. Not too long ago. Yeah, I'm not for sure how this even works. Uh, probably I wish that they would have like made some adjustments to this right here Come on. Sorry about the shaking I'm trying to Yeah, I'm not for sure of how this thing even supposed to 
I wish, uh, I wish this was like, I wish this was like the sideways figure from back in Transformers Armada, because like that figure at least had to wear, um, had to wear. You could actually <clears throat> switch out the mini cons, and they would reveal the Autobot and the Decepticon symbol. But the Solid Planet key is the one that reveals the symbols. There it goes. Maybe you're supposed to push on down a little bit further. Might be like a hair further. Maybe a hair. Not for sure. But yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. And also with how this solid plane key gimmick also works. While in his jet mode, he can go like this right here. And you can just go like this right here. And there we go. Come on. Let's see if I can do that again. Aha! So yeah, I think you're supposed to hold it on down for like a couple of seconds or something, or just push it down ever so slightly, like a tiny, tiniest amount, so it'll reveal the Autobot symbol. But yeah, there you can also do this with him in the Silver Planet Key in his vehicle mode. Very nicely done right there. Mm. I just want to show you guys that real fast because this is a little bit complicated. It's a little bit complicated. And also, you can definitely see his shoulders down in there. You can you can see why I see those little shoulders. And also, <clears throat> so I have some phlegm in my throat. Also down here, you can see his his little his his little waist area, his little crotch area right here is like split in two. Also his little fist right here. I'm surprised they didn't make it to where like his fist had to hold on to like a couple of things back there, like with some of the other like uh, how some of the other figures have to do so. But they didn't do that and also you can see the little wheels right here are his little landing gear bits so you can just have him roll a little bit if you if you want to do so very nicely done and his wings as we all know detached to become he has little two-bladed weapon in his fists but yeah and also beautiful detailing upon the vehicle mode beautiful detailing and I'll admit, not much to really cover up on sideways, not much to cover up on him, because like he's just pretty much like a jet right there with beautiful detailing, as I said before. Just some beautiful detailing. And also, it was definitely with this solar planet key right here. <clears throat> I believe <clears throat> that like with this solar planet key, because I also did a little bit of research, and I think Soundwave has like a very similar solar planet key. I think he honestly does. Because like I never really had this figure or the Soundwave figure at all before. It took me years later, so many years later, just to get those figures. Long story, long story. Like yeah, yeah. There we have that first sideways right there. So let's go ahead and get down to the size comparison. First up, we're going to go ahead and do <coughs> Megatron. Yeah, there we have him. And yeah, I noticed that little cockpit stitch on him is drawn in. I thought I put that on F. Here is Thundercracker. Good comparison right there. <coughs> Thunder Blast. Let's see, I can't remember who which one's Thunder Blast. Like is she Scott Class? I think she would be Um I thought I'd have to look for T. Oh wait, I think I did her before. She's definitely not a Voyager class, so she's. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh, yep. She's in with him. Well, no, wait. No, she isn't. She's a um, deluxe class. He's a Voyager class. So yeah, deluxe class, Voyager class. There you go. There is. Optimus Prime with him along with <clears throat> Leo Breaker. <coughs> yeah, it's still, t I don't know where it is till run off to again. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that. Also, let's see, I know I had another figure. But, here he is, here he is, the original Sideways from the Armada series. See how that works or not. And thank you to, I forget, I don't know the user that told me this, but I'll, tr but I'll try to like possibly mention, like, probably, like mention the person below. Um, thank you for letting me know about the two mini cons for this guy right here, because like I did not know that the two mini cons when combined created the, the like, 
robot called Mirror. Don't know how that's the best I can describe of how, of how to describe it. Like a little the the, the combined mini con robot called Mirror. So I'm barely even here right now. It's been a long work week. I know I started yesterday, but I also started today. Oh boy, bit of a long story. Bit of a long story, but they have <laughs> that right there for for sideways. Okay, now down. It's time for the transformation. Transformation wise, it's it's pretty much simple. It, well, it's always simple for these guys right here. Just go ahead and unplug this right here. Unplug this right here. There you go. There you are. Now for sideways, this is a transformation process. Go ahead, bring out the legs. There you go. Let's go ahead. Take this piece right here. Take his entire assembly, like his entire waist assembly right here. Bring it on forward. You want to fold this entire section on forward so we can make enough clearance for this right here. But first of all, let's go ahead, or like earlier, bring this on up a bit. Well, bring this all around up. Now rotate this arm down, bring it around, rotate it. Take this arm right here, ro bring it, rotate on down, bring it, rotate it around, rotate this on down right here. There we go. Rotate this as well. Rotate this piece or rotate this piece around right here. Fold the shield on down, and there we go. Rotate the fists. Well, this fist is pretty much already rotated right now. I gotta rotate it back around this way and then do this right here with it. There you go. That's all fixed on up. Now, for this part right here, bring the folders on back, fold this on forward, fold these up front, and tab them on in. There you go. Now, what you wanna do with his legs is very simple rotate them, rotate them around, rotate this around as well. Take his feet, open up his feet right here. Open up his feet right here. Take these little pits, bits right here on, his, on the side of his legs. Bring them on forward, rotate. No, you not rotate them around or de-rotate them around. It's been a while, man. All right, now you're supposed to fold his legs on forward. Uh, let's go if I had the entire transformation process done correctly. And yeah, let me take a quick look at him. Like, I think I have it correct. I should have it correct. Sideways. Aha, there we go. Okay. Rotate this on down. If you can, there we go. Rotate that on down. And fold this all the way down. There you go. Put this on down. And fold this all the way down. I've always missed transformed that every single time until now. I got it correct. I got it correct. So now I'm going to take this piece right here. Fold this on down. Take this piece right here. Open this one up. Bring up the head. Bring it up and over. And this will go over here. Filling up that one gap right there and rotate the head around and bring this up and over to have this into place. And voila, here we have sideways now in his robot mode. And I must say this about his robot mode. Very, very nicely done. Very beautifully done right there. Also, this one little piece right here does not want to stay up in there. I'll say this, I do have two different copies of him. Hang on for a second. Let me see something go Fast. Um, okay, so that doesn't. Wait, I think it is supposed to tab on in up in here. That's the only reason why it is not. Whoops! Oh boy. Okay, so that won't tab in up there. Okay, so that won't tab in. There we go. But yeah, you can tell that these that his legs are on ball joints to where you can just rotate them on up and back. <coughs> There's no movement in the ankle. You get a bend in the knee right there. That's also due to transformation. And also because of right here, his arms rotate up, rotate down, swivel right there at the at his bicep, and also there you go at the elbow wrist rotation.
for this right here you can easily go like this right here with his little shield all about symbol switches on over to Decepticon if you wish there you go or close enough to it now that won't stay down fully for some odd reason it's not going to stay down fully this time but go ahead and do it like this right here and just If you think you have it figured on out, you don't know how to figure it out later on. But yeah, let's go on, let's go and bring out these blades right here, so that way he his shield can also be going into attack position. Yeah, like this is confusing me right here. That or the mechanism inside of here is not working properly because it is a he is a pretty old figure. But also, I'm going to show you all this with his little, so his little wings right here. As you all know, plug this in right to here. I'm surprised that Hasbro hasn't touched up on Sideways since like Revenge of the Fallen. I'm surprised they haven't touched up on him since then. So yeah, there you go. They are. You have Sideways like that right there with his little weapon. All of course, if you want to switch this on around, there you go. Yeah, for a second, maybe you're supposed to put it in. Oh. No, you're wait. Oh, this is the right. This okay. This is the right way. I'll take a look at the image, and this is the right way. You want to do? You you want to do this? You want to do this right here for sideways. This way, he can attack while well, also attacking and defending with this one right here. So yeah, you have that right there. Pull this back on down with this. With this head right here is on a little swivel joint. So. Or it's just a little mushroom peg. I'm not. Yeah, it's a little swivel joint. Little swivel joint right in there. But yeah, I do love what they did with the new sideways figure for the uh, for the Cybertron series. Pretty decently made. They did a pretty decent job. Well, really good job right there. Also, a lot of piping back here because you guys can see like no light, light, no light, light, no light, light. So yeah, yeah, that right there was sideways. Still a pretty good figure, pretty good figure. And my apologies that I'm not updating as frequently as possible. Well, I hardly ever, I really ever update as frequently as possible. Depending on how tired I am when I get home from work a lot of times. But now that I'm on first shift during 10 hours, yeah, let's just say that that's pr pretty tough for me to do right there. Pretty tough. Now, let's go ahead and do some comparisons. First off, I thought I'd put those on the side. There we go. Here he is with Megatron, and <laughs> Megatron is definitely taller, and he is, he's definitely taller. Up next, we're going to put him with Thundercracker, about the same size. Here we go. Thunderblast. She's going to get on out here, and it's not because of the... She's, she's going to get on out here due to the heat, and, not, and it's not because of the volcano. Up next, we is with Cybertron Optimus Prime. He's also pretty tall compared to Sideways. <coughs> he is with. Come on. There we go. Leo Breaker. I got to clean up that table. Leo Breaker's pretty tall compared to him. I think he, I think it's because he's an ultra class. There we go. And also, here he is with the original sideways. Hang on. I'm going to try to set him straight on up. With some of these figures, you can barely tell of like how to straight on, straight on up. And they, I'd say, I'd say they're about probably about the same height. If, if we go by these, he's definitely taller, but like with this, with his head right here, I'd say they're about the same height. Right there. I love how the handlebars and these horns right there are like reflections off of each other. Kind of like reflections off of each other. But you all know what I mean by that. So yeah. They definitely did a pretty good job with sideways right there. But yeah. There you have him right there. There is sideways from Transformers Cybertron. Or as we all know, Transformers Galaxy Force. And I also forgot to mention his Japanese name. If I'm remembering correctly, it's called Noise Maze in Japan. 
and I'm not looking at the computer for that, but let me double check. I th I'd say it is. Let's see here. Yep. Um, Noise Maze. His, his name is Noise Maze in Transformers Cybertron. So I was correct on the first go around. <clears throat> they definitely gave them some pretty different names in, in the Transformers series. Like, for example, with Optimus Prime, they named him Galaxy Commander. Very much understandable because, like, it's called Galaxy Force. Can't remember what they call Optimus. Don't know what they call Optimus Prime for the for the TV series. And also with sideways right here. Um. Well, nothing much else. But yeah, I will. But yeah, if y'all want to try and grab him on up, look on eBay for him or possibly like well, you know, you could possibly potentially find him. eBay is probably your best bet. Unless of course, if you go to Comic Con, you know, if you're extremely lucky to find him there or toy or talk or toy comic book shop. You'd be you'd have a lot of luck there. So you probably have a good bit of luck right there as well. And also, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to both me and Richmaker, and check out my tip on my gaming channel. Also, check me out on social media and other social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Temple, Instagram, Discord, and so on. Along with now, um, you know, I'm not on there. You know, I'm hardly ever on there. Um, uh, what's that app called? Um, not quite used to it, but. Pokey Talman is also on there. I, I don't know a bunch of Pokey Shippers on that one. I can't remember what the name is. If I remember the the name of the of, of the thing, I'll leave in the description box below. Oh, and I hope the and I hope you all have a good night. Because it's not here where I am. <laughs> yeah. So I'll tell you until next until next one. I'm Tempo Man. I'll be I'll be signing off right now. So peace out.